For generations, people have been using the wind as a means of propulsion. Whether it's sailing on water or flying in the air, wind is in plentiful supply, especially along the coast. But it's very difficult to store power from wind. That poses a problem when energy resources are scarce. Audi is presenting a solution with its power-to-gas concept and is embracing climate-friendly motoring with a combination of CO2 and wind power. Tom Christensen explains this unique concept. Last year, the Dane made motor racing history when the Audi team took first and second spot in Le Mans with hybrid technology in the R18 e-tron Quattro. We're here in Werther, in Lower Saxony, Germany. It's here that Audi is building the world's first industrial plant to produce synthetic methane from excess electricity. The technology is called power to gas. The carbon dioxide that we need comes from this biogas plant. The feedstock comes from agricultural waste. This part of the plant is called amine purification. It's where the carbon dioxide arrives, it's cleaned and dried, and is then ready for the next stage to produce e-gas. But before we see where the carbon dioxide ends up, let's just first clear up another question. What actually happens with the green electricity used here that comes from the wind power generators? We're here with the electrolysis process, where the hydrogen is generated. You can see how it works here. We're all familiar with the little experiment from physics at school. The hairdryer simulates the wind off the North Sea, making the windmill turn, and the power flows through these two electrodes. It's at this point that the water is split into hydrogen and oxygen. There you have electrolysis. And what's bubbling away here is hydrogen. That's what we need for the next stage. The crucial stage happens in this section of the plant, the methanation process. The two basic substances, i.e. hydrogen and carbon dioxide, react with the help of a catalyst to create methane. In other words, synthetic natural gas. Here the e-gas is fed into the gas network. That way you have access to enormous storage capacity. And whenever the North Sea wind blows in abundance and you have an excess of electricity, the plant comes on stream. That reduces the load on the power grids. Yet another advantage of the Audi e-gas project. And the best thing of all is that we're putting sun and wind into the tank with the A3 G-tron, providing us with climate neutral mobility. Bye for now. Audi is moving up a gear when it comes to sustainable mobility. Anyone buying an A3 G-tron can enjoy 100% climate neutral motoring. The car's consumption is recorded by means of a fuel card and Audi replaces the consumed gas with e-gas. That means in future there'll be three types of mobility using wind power. Sailing on water, gliding in the air and driving an Audi G-tron. Power to gas, an Audi innovation.